Even Beijing residents who can afford luxury maintain a soft spot for humble fare, such as tripe and other innards. Most Chinese diners appreciate chewy texture more than Westerners do, so tripe may be cooked in a way that preserves that quality. At Dongxing Sun, near the waterfront, Steve and Sito will sample tripe as the locals like it. This uh, is a very iconic, a very famous hutong, one of those traditional old walled villages that had been officially preserved. And you can kind of tell it's preserved, right? That's because it's very nice. <laughs> it's too pretty. Um, some of the world's best clubs and pubs are found here. Yeah, it looks like a lot of eating establishments and some bars. Fine restaurants. If you look really, really hard, I'm sure you can spot a McDonald's or a Starbucks here. <laughs> but what we are here we today didn't come for, for that. Well, we didn't come for that. We came here for an institution. It's uh, this place uh, has been around for over a century. They sell a host of very traditional um, stuff, um, sweets, and there's one particular item they are very noted for. For literally translated, pao uh, tu means explosive stomach. It's really uh, tripe, beef tripe. Um, it's a Muslim restaurant. Um, it's the way they do it, and you got to, you got to, you got to eat it. You know, so try to watch them prepare. You got to watch them prepare. Let's let's That's go good. to this place. <coughs> Can you say a hundred years has been here? No, um, this is state run. Um, it's been over for a hundred years. So this this generation. This particular family that's running this place uh, has been at it for about 60 years on their own. So you're going to meet a nice little old lady and a husband that's been toiling here for 50 years. Ni hao. So Steve, this is a uh, lamb tripe, that's uh, beef tripe, that's uh, beef tripe, uh, stomach lining. And this is the uh, lamb stomach lining that is uh, smoked uh, shank. And this is very traditional. This is uh, a mustard. It's kind of spicy, it's mustard, the cabbage, very old traditional style. And this is also another very traditional Beijing style pickle. They have cabbage, they have a, a radish, chili, and I think it's just flapped with some, I think it's peppercorn. So when we were in the back, we saw how, I mean, they just blanched these items. Very, and that's where the name came very from. Very quick. They call that explosion. And then we have the sauce that I guess we're. I think it's in. the sauce that lends it, uh, it completes the deal on its own. I, I suppose it's super gamey and, and um, it's got an awful smell. So this has got uh, uh, bean paste and they've got um, sesame, sesame oil and she's got what she says secret ingredients beyond that. So I think there's vinegar, <coughs> cilantro, and cilantro and some onions in there. Preparation wise, you can see how easy it oh, is. It's just very simple. It's, it's not, just there's fresh. There's no fats or whatever. There's no the fats the just put in. But um, too much of anything good. And plus, then you have your, your vegetables, your pickled vegetables, which should counteract any of that richness. Ooh, it's got that uh, hint of wasabi in there. Oh, it's got some heat to it. From the mustard. The wasabi effect. Yeah. 